Hey guys and welcome to this video on the Crew 2. In this one we're going to be going over the best cars in pretty much every category. For each car class I'll have a budget and then overall best car, so there should be something for everyone here. But first, this video has been kindly sponsored by Acer Predator, who are running a huge racing tournament with Roman Grosjean, as well as amazing opportunities to win a triple monitor setup complete with a Predator gaming PC. Find out more details at the end and please do check out the links in the description. So first up is street racing, which is arguably the most popular category and it has the most vehicle options by quite a long way. In terms of the overall best car, it's a pretty clear win for the Lamborghini Gallardo Superleggera. It tops most of the leaderboards due to it quite honestly just being the best car with a great balance of acceleration, top speed and handling, and it's not too expensive either at around 500k. If you do want an alternative then the Audi R8 is arguably the second best, however if you're looking to challenge the leaderboards then you will want the Lambo. For those on more of a budget I can recommend the Mini Cooper S Countryman which is only about 50 grand but it gets seriously fast when you start upgrading it. If you have a bit more to spend but not quite the full 500k though then I'd recommend the Dodge Viper. This was my first street car and it's great because it's fast even without upgrades but it can easily win the races on top difficulty when you put them on. So moving on to hypercar now which is another very popular category. The overall best car here is the Bugatti Devo. It's at the top of a lot of the leaderboards and while the Magma edition of the car is the best and this version can only be one from live summit events by the way, the standard Bugatti Devo is not far off so it's the one to go for if you're happy to spend a lot of money. And this you will absolutely be doing as the Devo will set you back 2.6 million credits which equates to about 100 normal length races. If you are looking for something a bit more reasonable though, then I'd recommend the Koenigsegg Agera R. This, in my opinion, is the best value hypercar as it's just under 1 million credits, which is quite expensive, but the performance makes it completely worth it. In a drag race, it can beat out most other cars on acceleration, and while its top speed isn't going to be able to match that of more expensive vehicles, it can easily get you through all of the races. Now moving on to the drag race category where there really isn't much to say, because the Corvette C8 is the best by a long shot. This car tops all of the leaderboards and it isn't particularly expensive at 172 grand. I'm also not going to recommend a budget car for this class as the cheapest car in the entire class is only 50 grand less than the C8, so you might as well just go in and straight away get the best car. Now for the drift category where there are two main cars that you should be looking at. The first is the BMW Z4 for 226 grand, which is definitely one of the best drift cars. It's not the cheapest, but it's pretty fast and insanely easy to drift, which is the main reason I'm recommending it. The other car, which is probably the most popular in the class, is the Mazda RX-7, which tops the leaderboards of many of the events. I personally don't find it quite as easy to drift as the BMW, however for 98 grand you can't really go wrong, and it also has some really nice customization options. Something I should say about the drift class is that some of the more expensive cars, such as the Koenigsegg Agera, are really not worth it. You'd think the 1 million credit car would be the best, although for this class you should steer clear of them. Now when it comes to the Rally Raid category, the car that is arguably the best is actually not purchasable. The car I'm talking about is the Peugeot D3008, which you earn for free by reaching Icon 300. This car is incredibly capable off-road, and while it may not be the easiest to drive, it's the fastest in a lot of the events. Now if you don't want to wait to get to Icon 300 though, then the Mini Countryman is the one to go for. It's up there on the leaderboards and for 147 grand, it's a very good car to have as it handles well, is easy to slide and therefore just a lot of fun to drive. So sticking with off-road for Rallycross, the Mitsubishi Lancer is the best car to go for. It's up there at the top of many of the leaderboards mostly due to how planted and easy to drive it is. Quite a lot of the other cars in the class such as the Lotus are very easy to spin, however the Mitsubishi isn't and for 350k it's not too bad. If you are looking for something a bit more budget though, then the Cadillac Escalade Enforcer unit is a very capable car. It may not look it, but it can top a couple of leaderboards and come close in a couple of others. So while it isn't best in class, for 245 grand, it's not a bad pick. So now moving on to the pro racing family, and when it comes to the Alpha Grand Prix category, there isn't actually that much choice. However, one car does stand out from the rest, which is the Alpha Proto Mark X. It probably only just qualifies as a car as it seems to more closely resemble some sort of futuristic fighter jet, but it will set you back just under 1.1 million credits, which is not cheap at all. Now, unlike other classes, there isn't really a budget alternative that can even get close to the Mark X, 
So if you want to race in this class a lot, then save up for this one. If you do really need a cheaper alternative, then the Red Bull RB13 is a good option, as it's the cheapest, but arguably second best in the class. So now onto the final car category I'll be covering, which is Touring Car. This is one of the most crowded classes in terms of the cars, so there is a lot to choose from. When it comes to the overall best though, there's a somewhat of a holy trinity, each of which is generally best around one of the tracks. The first is the Ducati Panagel R for 474k, which tops a few of the leaderboards and is generally a really nice motorbike, arguably the best handling in the game. The next is one of the newer cars added to the game and one of only two Renaults, the RSO1, for a reasonable 618 grand. This car is my favourite handling wise and I think it looks pretty damn cool too. The final car in this group of three is the Lamborghini Gallardo for 708k, quite similar to the street race version from earlier. Before the Renault came along this was topping most of the leaderboards but even now it holds its own very well. So that's all for the car classes and finally here are some more details about our sponsor Acer Predator and how you can win a triple monitor setup and Predator gaming PC as well as loads more. This is all part of the Acer Predator Cup which is an international sim racing competition on Assetto Corsa. Sign up by the 14th of May through the link in the top of the description to take your shot at qualifying for the UK national competition. The winner will get a triple monitor setup and PC, second will get a Predator keyboard and mouse and third will be taking home a Predator headset and backpack. Even if you do not get into the finals you can have a chance to win a 2.5 grand Predator gaming setup merchandise signed by Roman Grosjean and there are also 100 Xbox Game Pass subscriptions all up for grabs. All you have to do is register from my link and then go to the second link in the description to enter that competition. Anyway that's all for this video, I really hope you found it useful and if so a like or even a sub would be very much appreciated and don't forget to comment what you thought of the video and if you have any questions just drop them down there too. But that's everything so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.